Hey everyone, welcome back to D&G Ministry. So I'm here with my wife and we wanted to just continue the Q&A session that we had going on in the last video because we didn't get to finish all the questions and we're still in Florida with some time yes. on our hands and we're gonna continue these questions. Continue, okay. Favorite Bible verse. Favorite Bible verse. I, I know see. mine. You go then. So, I would say it's Psalm 23, verse 1. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Ephesians, chapter 6. 11? 11. What is it going to be? <laughs> you don't even know your No, I do. Favorite. For we do not fight against flesh and blood, but, but we against... fight against principalities, rulers, and dark yes. forces of this evil age or something like that. Yeah. Amen. It, I, see, I did pretty good. That's one of the things I, I just didn't memorize everything down to the knit, but like... To the knit? <laughs> I made that up, didn't I? I don't know if people see that. I've never heard that before, but y'all, let us know. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. okay. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. Are you getting married, someone asked. Are we getting married? Yeah, I think we're gonna, first we gotta go back to New York, we gotta get a barn, we gotta get married at Nova mm -hmm. Vera. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get married in November 11th. November. <laughs> I, can't November 11th. I can't talk in this We video. really should get married. Yeah. Anyways, next Katie? question. I'm just kidding. No, I don't know, maybe. Um, this person goes, I need prayer for income, would you pray? So income. we should pray now. Well, Lord, I just pray right now in Jesus' name that yes, you would Lord. provide this person with what they need. And I say what they need, Lord, because ultimately, you know what's best for us. So I just pray that you would provide, whether that's money, food, or for whatever season you have for them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. How can I pray for you guys? Some of these aren't Q&A. I mean, that is a question. Didn't you answer that? Didn't you put that same one in the last video? Oh, maybe. I mean, we can still tell you. Right now, my arm. My arm's really itchy. It looks... Gross. Yeah, so in Jesus' name, pray with me, viewers. In yes. Jesus' name, I command all these bumps and this itchiness to go down in the name of Jesus. All swelling, leave. If they're bug bites, Lord. All poison. All poison, yeah, leave in Jesus' name. Yeah. We are in Florida, so there's a lot of annoying bugs. Um, someone goes, do you study the word together, or does God have you on separate journeys? It's, well, obviously we're not on separate journeys. I mean, we're walking on our own walk with fear and trembling, obviously, right? As scripture says, we can only enter through the narrow path ourselves, but it's our job to still pursue one another and to do mm -hmm. these Bible studies together. And so even the word for us men, like you got to wash your wife in the word. And so it's important that as a married couple that you spend time together reading scripture. Yeah, so I would say we do both. Like, it's very important that we... As Dylan just said, spend time in the Word together, but it's equally important that we spend time apart seeking the Lord. And so we have like a, um, a daily Bible study that we do. And then whatever the Lord leads us individually, we'll do. And then sometimes we'll talk about it. Why do you eat junk food and drink sodas? Dylan. Good question. We've actually been talking about this a lot today. Yeah. Past few days, actually. It's been on my mind a long time. Yeah, so I kind of go back and forth <laughs> on this because I do want to eat healthy. But at the same time, it's very difficult. I'm not, you know, sugar is addictive. Like, it can be just as addictive as certain drugs. Like, they compared sugar to, like, cocaine in a study before. And it's, like, really hard to come off of sugar. So I'm saying in this video, like, we were talking about this today. And I definitely want to stop drinking, like, soda and stuff like that. Because it's obviously it's not... Terrible. It's terrible for you. Like, we can all admit Cancer. that. Anybody who says it's healthy, you're just wrong. <clears throat> And so yeah. I, it really is a goal for us both to, to eat healthier. But then there's that other side where you can kind of worry like, oh, food's expensive. Like, you know, healthy food's expensive. You know, they do that to you yeah. because they don't care about you. They want you to eat their unhealthy food and drink their poison. Because they want to kill you. It's crazy too because I remember I used to go back and forth about this topic a while back. Not in terms of like junk food, but just like meals that aren't particularly healthy. Like easy things to make that are cheap. Am I shaking it? Maybe a little bit, your foot. Oh, okay. Easy things to eat that are cheap, like making like pasta. That's so cheap to make, but it's obviously lots of carbs. And I was asking the Lord, I'm like, okay, Lord, I know your scripture says bless things and like bless your food and it shall be good for you. But then there's also scripture says anything made of the Lord. Oh, I don't know how it goes. I'm going to butcher it. But it's basically to paraphrase it, like anything 
that is of the Lord, like you can bless it and you'll be fine. But a lot of the things we eat, like Doritos, those weren't made by the Lord. So I don't think that's something you can really bless. I'm all about faith, but still. No. Do you ever face trust issues in any way? And if you do, how do you both deal with it? Trust issues. This could be like a separate video. I will say in the beginning of our journey together, I was struggling a lot with like mm -hmm. jealousy, like some severe jealousy that probably could have been demonic, honestly, that I needed to let go of, needed some freedom from. Um, I don't struggle with it now, like really as much as I did in the past because obviously over time I seen that Gabby was all in, like she wanted this. As where before we got married, you had those little bits of doubts and stuff and because of my you know, past testimony, it's just, it was a hard area for me to overcome, but I was seeing now I don't really have trust issues with Gabby. Like, mm -hmm. we're, we're married, we're one, we made a covenant. I would say for me, it's never really been an issue. I don't remember it being an issue before being born again when I was never actually with anybody. Um, but as soon as, like, Dylan and I got together, like, that was never, like, jealousy was never a thing in my mind. But there was this one moment that I remember telling Dylan, like, there was one time, one incident, where like I felt jealousy rise up, but it wasn't, it was like a mask. It was actually insecurity and the enemy was trying to like feed that to me and I'm like, no, I repeat this. Sorry. It's just no, me. it's okay. But yeah, it's just not anymore. Amen. Well, that's the video. We finished all these questions. We definitely want to do more of these. We want to do videos that are more interactive with you guys, the viewers. We hope our videos bless you guys. It's like hard because there's things that we obviously want to talk about, but it's like we feel like you know we're so timing. yeah to, okay yeah there's like different groups there's videos we want to talk about but it's a timing issue there's other videos we want to talk about but we feel like we have to be married longer for people to actually receive it from us and there's other videos but then at the same time we're trying to be um making less videos on teachings unless god really puts something on our heart and so that's why it's kind of hard to make videos right now because we don't want to just do like all like random stuff like we want it to be like encouraging and like edifying but that's why it's kind of hard right now thank you for watching make sure you leave a like on this video subscribe comment down below if you want to support us there's links in the description and we'll see you in the next one